Let's talk about the best and easiest cybersecurity certification to get. The easiest cybersecurity certifications to get. Getting cybersecurity certifications is something you need to plan out. So it all depends on what area within cybersecurity you're trying to focus on. So if you're looking to get into um, auditing or compliance side of cybersecurity, then there are some certifications like the CAP, the Certified Authorization Professional, or the CISA um, exam that will be beneficial to you. If you're trying to get into pen testing, then something like uh, CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker, might be a good cert to get as a first step. Uh, so there are different types of certifications to get based on your position. So the first thing you want to do is research on the certifications um, and the different positions that you're, you're looking to obtain and then look for the certifications to get. So the easiest, in my opinion, the easiest two certifications would be one, the Security Plus. Security Plus is offered by a company or organization called CompTIA. And this uh, certification is the entry level cert to cybersecurity. It's very, very um, basic, in my opinion, and it covers a great deal about cybersecurity. So if you're looking to get into the cybersecurity field, this would be the first one I would recommend. And in my opinion, it is easy. It's a multiple choice exam. Uh, with a few uh, simulations. So simulations could consist of drag and drop and uh, things of that nature. Uh, the next one that I would recommend is the CAP exam, the Certified Authorization Professional. Okay, so the Certified Authorization Professional is for people looking to get into uh, cyber risk management. So it's based off the risk uh, management framework based on NIST 800-37. This is an easy exam. It's not technical at all. And it really involves uh, processes and procedures. So uh, knowing what steps to perform uh, the risk management framework and knowing the uh, roles and responsibilities, the key documentations, uh, would be the most uh, majority of the, the exam, okay? So those are the two uh, easiest cybersecurity uh, exams, in my opinion. So let's look at the pros and the cons. For the Security Plus, the pro is it's an entry-level Security Plus um, cybersecurity certification. So you could use this uh, certification with regardless of what area within cybersecurity you're looking to get into. So any position um, in cy within cybersecurity um, will m require you to have a certification. Um, the Security Plus would be the best one, I would say, to have. Um, that's a plus. Now, the downside of this, the Security Plus is that it is considered an entry-level certification. It's still very marketable. As a matter of fact, if you go to Indeed, if you go to Glassdoor, you would find uh, that this certification keeps coming up. The next one would be the CAP exam. Uh, let's look at the pros and the cons. One of the uh, pros of the CAP exam is that it's easy, right? It's not technical at all. And almost anyone who reads the uh, material could have a 90% chance of passing this exam. Now, the downside of this exam is that there is a uh, 
work experience requirement. So um, you would need to have experience in order to get the full designation of the exam. So um, if you do sit for the exam, now there is no requirement, work experience requirement needed to take the exam, but to get the certification, uh, you would need the um, you would need your work experience. Um, so if you take the exam, you would get an associate level uh, CAP certification. And then once you add two years of experience, then you would get the full um, certification. So that's one of the downsides. The other downside is that it is a uh, niche type of certification. So if you are seeking a position as a pen tester, um, the cap may not be the best one for you. Uh, it's almost like a pigeonhole type uh, certification for risk management and auditing, okay? But the Security Plus, there is no work um, requirement or experience requirement. It is um, implied that you have that experience um, but there is no um, work experience needed to take the exam or get the uh, certification. So those are the two, in my opinion. Um, for more information about the requirements about these, these exams, go to the websites of these organizations and I'll post them in the bio, all right? I hope you found this um, informative please remember to like and subscribe thank you hey if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos here is one i would recommend for you it's the information system security officer training this course comes with tons of videos um, a cap which is the certified authorization professional boot camp comes with quizzes comes with a certificate of completion resume template um, ebook monthly live q a sessions the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours also has interview prep and job prep so this is a power packed course for more information visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com thanks don't forget to subscribe and like we're also on IG at Cyber First Solutions. Thank you.